One Yeti Punk here. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Missed you guys, have you missed me? Probably not. Probably haven't even noticed with all those transparent lingerie videos on YouTube now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about 30 pounds lighter in case you haven't noticed. I look a little different. <laughs> but a little bit ago, I went to a thrift store uh, up here called Talese. I don't know if you guys have it. It is a chain though, but purchased an Xbox 360 because mine's kind of crapping out. This one seems to be in good condition, but I thought maybe for a little video, I thought maybe we'd crack this thing open, hook it up. Maybe there's some games on it. Maybe it's a modded version. So maybe there's some ROMs on it. Who knows? I don't know. It was cheap, but I hope it works. If not, it might be in the dumpster. <laughs> Come along with me for the journey, will you please? All right, so here we have the Xbox 360 that I purchased. Um, I did pay a little bit. It was 70 bucks, you know, like plus tax. So. It is what it is, but it is cheaper. It was, honestly, it's a really clean looking unit, just like in the bag and such. Um, so I thought I'd take a shot at it. My wife was there, so I was asking her, it's like, what do you think? What do you think? You think I should, uh, should grab it, should pick it up? Since mine's kind of like crapped out. And locally in town, the thrift stores and pawn shops, they're, they charge a lot more for this, at least 20 to $30 more <laughs> for an Xbox 360. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. And then, you know, you go on eBay and well, you know, you're rolling the dice there. <laughs> with some of them. Um, so I just thought, hey, I'll take a shot in the dark in this one. Got my new handy dandy. Got the Zoid. It's actually a really good knife. I found it at Dollarama, ironically. I'll just rip open the bag. Cut it open. Who cares? <laughs> And let's see the condition of everything that we got. So we got... Oh, okay. I didn't actually see that in the bag. Oh, probably gotta get a frame here. Probably be better for you. I don't know if I can, is it attached to it? Oh yeah, it is. They wrapped it in. Anyways, it actually came with the uh, charging cable for the controller. I bought an aftermarket one. <laughs> that was, uh, its production date was a couple years ago. But I cannot get it for the life of me to work with any of the 360 controllers. Official, unofficial, what have you. So I think it's just dead in the water. Um, this one came with the old school hookup. You know, you got your RCA cables. Your uh, yellow, white, and red. Classic. I didn't have this with my first uh, 360, but I am happy to have it because I do prefer the CRT TVs opposed to these flat screen bullshit. And of course we got the, well, half of the power bank, but that's okay. I have a cord for that. This is literally, you know, these, uh, the extra cords and stuff are literally just bonuses for me. I already have it all hooked up. I do have it hooked up HDMI because I do not have a CRT TV, um, yet, <laughs> but I do plan on getting one. Let's check out the controller. The controller looks actually pretty good shape. If it's going to focus at all. Are you going to focus? Maybe not. There we are. Uh, different battery cover on the back. Buttons feel okay. Oh. Feels like the left uh, shoulder button here. Feels like that might give a problem, but I hear it still clicking in there, so it might be all right. Who knows? If not, I have extra controllers anyway. Worst case, I can use it for parts. A couple batteries in here. The battery, whoa! Battery's coming at me. Let's check it out. 
Anybody's ever heard of these? Ikea! We have Ikea batteries! And we don't have an Ikea anywhere close to here, so... The <laughs> this was probably... <laughs> I don't know, can, can you order batteries through Ikea? I don't know, I've never ordered anything from Ikea. Oh, there's the other power cord, look at that. Look at that, sitting underneath it. If I clean the shit out of my eyes, I'd be able to see it. <laughs> but hey, look at that. Power cord. Actually, that feels new too. Surprisingly. Maybe that was a replacement cord or something. Alright. For the grand finale. Back out of the way. And we'll check out the console itself. Like, it's in pretty decent shape. You know, like, yeah, there's surface scratches on the plastic and such, but... Check out the port in there. See, like, even that is really clean in there. I don't know if you can... Yeah, back up that. see in here like yeah it's just a little bit dusty but when you actually look into the fan and everything it, it doesn't seem like it's like all gunged up with stuff which is just great let's go look at the back here as we see it's the 360s console which is the exact model that i have let's back it up here and it doesn't appear to have been opened at all. So I don't think maybe we're gonna be getting a modded version, but who knows? Who knows? Now for the, let's see, is there a hard drive? Is there a hard drive? Holy crap, there is a hard drive in here. What do we got? 250 gigabyte hard drive. Perfect. Because even uh, at some of the ones in town, <clears throat> excuse me, at the pawn shops, some of them don't even sell them with hard drives in them. And you don't even know. Like, <laughs> you just assume that. Well, it's 2024. If you're going to buy an Xbox 360, you probably should have a hard drive in it. <laughs> but some of them actually do not even include one. All right, so now that we look through the console here and everything, about seven minutes of me blabbling on, I think it's time we hook it up to the television and see what we got. See if we have any bonuses or maybe it'll just blow up. I guess that would be cool for YouTube views. Or maybe I should do it in transparent boxers. Hmm. Nah. Nah, we'll just hook it up with the TV. Back in a minute. So here we are. We got it all hooked up to the TV. And uh, getting ready to give it a shot. Just for the purposes, I am going to be using the uh, controller that came with it, the different backing. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Okay, I just turned, tried to turn on with the batteries. The batteries probably did. <laughs> Switch the batteries. Now these ones work. Quick change. Look at that. Quicker than your wife last night. All right. So our controller is actually coming on. The Xbox is booting. Hey, look at that. Good and golden. So, it is loading up. Oh, cause diggity. 
Cause Diggity 47. All right, Cause Diggity 47, whoever the hell you are. Let's see, did we open the tray? Bonus game? Ah, oh, no bonus game, but the tray opens perfectly. Oh, I guess it was some uh, lady's account. Cause Diggity 47. Let me turn that down a little bit. My cat looks like he's uh, <laughs> going to be jumping up. I'll be probably deleting all this. No, Taz, do not go out there. My games. Oh, Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex. I wonder if there's a way I could, uh... Oh, there's nothing there. Go into system here. Storage. So here's all the saves. Wrath of Cortex is the only one that seemed like it was downloaded. But we got Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghost, Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex, Guitar Hero Live. Internet Explorer. Who the hell uses that? <laughs> this might date me a little bit, but who remembers Netscape? Anybody remember Netscape? <laughs> Modern War Warfare 3. Blah, blah, blah. We got Netflix, NHL TV, NHL 13, 14, Xbox Music and Video. So that's about it. So <laughs> to me, this kind of looks like maybe a girlfriend console. <laughs> kind of thing it was kind of common back in the day I don't know if anybody ever had it where their boyfriend had a a console and uh, then the girlfriend would go out and be like oh I'll get one too and I'll you know that way I can play with you at, at my house to explain like <laughs> just the Call of Duty games a Guitar Hero game NHL. <laughs> That's what it seems like to me, but I don't really want to make assumptions about people or anything. And there's a few people out there using this thing too. So we have Bishop Nixon, Chrissy, Chris James 01, Cause Diggity, our default profile that it uploaded, Dow Doll 15, Do Walsh, Peter Pewter Corn? The hell is a pewter corn? Tub, tubby or Lizard? Tell me you're a lizard 74. <laughs> okay, these are different names. And I thought Yeti Punk was kind of different, but yeah. I don't know what a cause diggity is or pewter corn or a tubby or lizard. <laughs> demos. We have a game demo of NHL 14. It doesn't come up, so I don't even think we can delete it. Cache, optional media update, rights database, Xbox backward compatible title update. So that was probably the Wrath of Cortex one, the Crash Bandicoot game. I'm not too sure. But let's go back and just for giggles, let's launch. I do have a Kinect as well. Um, this system didn't come with a Kinect, but I already have one. Honestly, it's super quiet, so I might just transfer my stuff over to this. Let's see. Let's play this, uh, oh yeah, yeah, original Xbox title. So that's probably the, where the backwards compatibility came from. But it's cool though, we got a game with it. Let's just see how it works.
new show coming out, or that's out. We'll show you Fallout New Vegas. Bad shot. Okay, open, no problem. <laughs> Don't worry, that wasn't the Xbox. That was just where my table is. <laughs> That's what I got for you today. I don't know how the editing's gonna turn out on this. I'm gonna be trying my best to make it good for everyone. Um, it's kind of my first little video back for a while, trying a longer form video. Um, I do upload, a, I have been doing more shorts than videos just because um, they just seem to get a lot of more views for some reason. And it's like half the work, right? <laughs> it's nothing to upload a short. But I wanted to do uh, a longer video here because I've been myself watching a lot of people uh, do these Xbox testings and different console testings. Like, uh, I think his name is Jacob Arts. Like, uh, I went to Goodwill and bought 50 untested consoles. Let's see what's on it, <laughs> kind of thing. So I thought I'd try to do kind of my own thing, kind of my own situation here because I won't be buying a console for quite a while uh, unless I come across something cheap. I'm not an active game collector. I'm, my main console is the 360. Uh, I do use emulators for the older stuff. Um, and I do have a Nintendo 3DS with, uh, and Nintendo DS games. So that's kind of like my, my video game thing. Uh, anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed it. And I uh, hope you stuck around. I don't know how long it's gonna be or anything like that. I'm just doing this just, just old school, not real crazy editing things or, you know, I'm just keeping things simple. And uh, I hope to see, I hope everyone comes back and uh, sees me again, you know. To anybody that views the video that isn't one of my 63 subscribers, thank you, that's awesome. 63 subscribers, it's amazing. Let's, uh, let's keep going up as high as we can go. Everyone is welcome here. Everyone is welcome on my channel. Um, even if you want to leave a comment um, unrelated to the video of just saying, hey, you know, uh, I hope you're having a great day today. Cool. <laughs> Fine by me. But uh, I appreciate everyone coming around. Anyone that clicks on this video that isn't a subscriber, I appreciate you watching any little moment of this video. If you've made it this far, thumbs up to you. Hey, why not give me a thumbs up too? It's, it's down there. And that subscribe button, I think it's, it's down there too. Unless they changed it. Have I been gone from YouTube that long? Has it changed? Is it the same? I don't, I don't know anymore. Anyways, I'm out of here. Bye, Felicia.